Team news in the last few days, Ali Khan, he's been injured or he's nursing very cautiously. This back spasms team is just being extra careful considering what's up ahead, so he hasn't played. Kareem Agora was announced as a replacement coming out of Antigua. You spotted him on the warm-up tour to Antigua last month. And it's turned into a hot topic back home. People are very curious what went into the decision-making process behind that. So I guess first and foremost, why replace or add injury cover for a fast bowler with somebody who's primarily a spinner? Um, uh, with the selection panel, we had this conversation, long conversation, even even like you know before this selection. Um, uh, it's about the quality that we want to bring, and and Namibia is always like you know most of the time we're going to play with two seamers uh, with another uh, uh, medium fast bowler. Um, very rarely you're going to play three seamers, um, but then have, looking at the workload that we had. Uh, from from the beginning uh, like uh, of this tour and going into South Africa before Namibia um, we wanted to rotate uh, the fast bowlers uh, and keep them fresh before going into Namibia so that's one of the reasons that we, we kept four fast bowlers in this group um, but it really uh, uh, went wrong because uh, we came here and then suddenly Ali is not uh, fit to play. Uh, he struggled, he was still uh, up to today that he's, uh, he's still not 100% fit. Uh, so the three fast bowlers had a lot of workload and they, 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 they had to play almost every game and, and I'm a bit worried that I, I, don't, I don't lose any of these other, you know, the guy, current informed guys. Um, um, so the purpose actually having four fast bowlers didn't actually work out for us because we couldn't share the workload because one fast bowler was out. It, it was not actually uh, focused on Namibia. It was actually from like you know the Dubai tour. We wanted to have that, but we are we are okay to continue because we want to keep all the fast bowlers fresh. Uh, and and that was kind of a, a extra player. Uh, that we had extra position that we had, so that we decided to have that extra fast bowler. Um, uh, Karima, yes, like you know, he's, he's I'm, I'm very impressed. What I saw in Antigua is is top left arm spinner and who can bat uh, in the top order as well. Young guy who's a top fielder. Um, even though he hasn't played first class cricket, he's he's really uh, um, uh, he's a guy who. Who has, who has played a lot of club cricket and and that level of like you know you know mingle with the 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 the, the, the top players and he's playing for Hayden's club uh, a local club um, and I, once I saw him I, I thought like you know that's an all rounder that like you know who can really do some work for us um, um, and uh, and still we are not really Ali has. Uh, ruled out. He's working hard to come back, and we have we have set some dates. Like you know, he, he needs to, you know, come and um, play. And and if he if he gets through, his Ali is still going to continue. Um, uh, and if if by any chance uh, if Ali or any other person uh, uh, get into an injury, we want to keep uh, Karim as the backup plan. But again, going back to you were talking about, the, you're, you've had to really play most of the medium pacers all these matches because you haven't been able to cycle Ali in to give guys a rest. So again, just why bring in a spin bowler as opposed to another medium pacer if you're trying to get some of the medium pacers some rest? Um, uh, it's not like you know. Right now, it's it's more than the medium possible. Right now, the three three we have who's fit to play. I'm rotating. There's only two at given time, and then uh, Surab actually had a lot of workload. So next game, he's going to rest. Uh, I'm going to re bring back Jesse into that. So we're going to re rotate those three. But then like, again, uh, I'm struggling with like you know. We only every time we are only 12 players available. Like one is Ali, and then some like today we had Kimila uh, needs a. Uh, a, a break uh, because his shoulder was uh, not, not in best shape. So I don't want to, like you know to push these my main players uh, in these games and, and injured. So um, we need someone, one more player, to to uh, uh, rotate this uh, workload. And um, uh, and and I so I think like I, I I thought like you know uh, with the selection panel that uh, um, if he. Uh, this is opportunity that actually we can put Karima into this mix and see how he handle, uh, uh, you know, this uh, associate cricket. 
maybe he, he can get an opportunity to play one or two games at the end. Uh, and then, like you know, we can evaluate the situation. In terms of, of spin options in particular, the other question on this is you had Nisarg and Prashant Nair, Nisarg Patel and Prashant Nair in Antigua on the Dwarma Tour. Mm -hmm. Nisarg was also in the team in, in Oman at Division Three. They didn't come, weren't picked in this initial squad, and then obviously they've been passed over again with Karima coming in mm -hmm. as a like for like style bowl or left arm spinners. What happened that they were passed over when you're looking to bring in an extra player instead of uh, and picking them uh, instead of picking them over uh, Kareem Agor? Yeah, I, I think like you know, I mean, um, uh, everyone got a, a good opportunity, in, uh, enough opportunity in, in, in Antigua, and and I'm not uh, uh, only talking about um, Nisago or, or, or Prashant. It's about Saga Patel got opportunity, Fahad got opportunity in there, and and. and um, once, one, once someone get, get opportunity to play in, the, in this level, they need to put their hands up and say that we belong here. It's when you, when you, if you are a batsman, you need to get hundreds. We can't get a 30 and say that I'm in form. Um, uh, so they, all of them, basically, the, the guys that you know who are in 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 in, in, the, in that 2025 squad, have got opportunity to play. Uh, and and if you if you see this group is there. Like they they have come a long way the free from the fitness wise from the skills wise um, and they are, most of these guys are like super talent that we have current squad so someone to catch that they need to perform they need to you know and and for me the best best example is like uh, if you take uh, Nostus um, uh, he is one one guy from the last two years have worked very hard and and from the fitness wise from the game planning the bowling wise. Uh, and even the batting, in number 11 bats still, he bats a lot in nets and 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 uh, so we are bringing Karima. For me still, Nosh is number one because he has worked hard and he has kept that gap with anyone who's coming in. So I think that's a competition we want to have to have to build a champion side. So for us, it's the best players are going to play. And, and if you have a U.S. passport and you are born in USA, I think uh, we need to get into a, a position where we, we pick up the best players to play. And I think every U.S. sports is following that. And I can't see why, why not cricket.